Hey, this is Presh Tullwalker. Here are a couple of fun problems I saw on social media. Problem 1. There's a rectangle. A quarter circle is centered at the lower left corner of the rectangle and has a radius equal to the height of the rectangle. For the remaining distance on the base, construct a semicircle at the midpoint of the remaining distance and it goes from the endpoint of the quarter circle to the endpoint of the base of the rectangle. Now, construct a tangent line between the lower left corner and the semicircle. If the tangent line has a length equal to 5 centimeters, then what is the area of the rectangle equal to? I thank Vladi for the suggestion. Problem 2. There is a square and a rectangle that are placed side by side. Then a square is tilted as follows. Its lower left corner is coincident with the square on its lower left corner. Its upper right corner is along the right side of the rectangle and the upper side goes through the intersection point of the square and the rectangle. If this square has an area equal to 25 square centimeters, what is the combined area of the square and the rectangle? This problem is credited to at cshare41. I thank Alex for the suggestion, and the solution I'm going to present is by at gem800. Pause the video if you'd like to give these problems a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve these problems. These problems both seem impossible to solve at first. And even more, it's like a Rubik's Cube puzzle where you don't even know where to begin. So let's see how we can solve these. Problem 1. We want to compute the area of the rectangle. So let's start out with the formula for the area of a rectangle. It's equal to the product of the base and the height. So we don't know the base and the height but let's set up variables to represent each value. We'll start out with this quarter circle. Let's suppose it has a radius that's equal to r. Then this side will also be equal to r. Now let's go to the semicircle. Suppose its radius is equal to s. Then this distance will also be equal to s. So we can set up a formula for the area of the rectangle in terms of r and s. We know that the base is equal to r plus 2s, and the height will be equal to r. So the area of the rectangle will be the product of r plus 2s and r. We can expand this by distributing the r so that we get r squared plus 2 times r times s. So we could find the value of r squared plus 2 times r times s. We will know the area of the rectangle. So what other information are we given? we know we have a tangent line to the semicircle. So let's construct a radius of the semicircle to the tangent point. This will also have a length that's equal to s. Because we have a tangent line, the tangent line and the radius will be perpendicular, so we have a right angle over here. Let's now look at this right triangle. We know the legs are 5 and s, and the hypotenuse is r plus s. So, 5 squared plus s squared is equal to the square of r plus s. 5 squared is equal to 25, and the square of r plus s is equal to r squared plus 2rs plus s squared. In this equation, s squared cancels from both sides, and the equation simplifies to be 25 is equal to r squared plus 2rs. But r squared plus 2rs is exactly what we're trying to solve for. So we know that the area of the rectangle is equal to 25 square centimeters. And that's the answer. Now you might be wondering if we can solve for the parameters r and s. The answer is no. We can only solve for one if we know the value of the other. Here's an animation that illustrates this. Notice that the value of the area of the rectangle is always going to be 25 for all of these different parameters. 
Interestingly, if we take the limit as s goes to zero, we will get r goes to five, and this rectangle will turn into a square which has a side length equal to five, and of course its area will be equal to five squared, which is equal to 25. Now let's solve problem two. So to get started, we know that the square has an area of 25 square centimeters. So its side length will be equal to the square root of 25, which is equal to five. Now let's take a look at our objective. We wanna calculate the combined areas of the square and the rectangle. So let's set up some dimensions. Suppose the square has a side length equal to x and the rectangle has a width that's equal to y. So setting these dimensions to our smaller diagram, we have x as the height, then we have x as the width of the square, and then we have y as the width of the rectangle. The combined area of these two shapes will be the combined area of a rectangle with sides of x and x plus y, so that'll be x multiplied by x plus y. So if we can figure out the value of x multiplied by x plus y, we'll have our answer. So how do we do that? First, let's construct the following right triangle. Its base will be equal to x plus y. Its hypotenuse is the diagonal of the square with a side length equal to five. The diagonal of a square with a side length equal to five will have a length of five times square root of two. Now let's construct this right triangle. Its base is exactly the side length of the square with the length of five, so this is equal to five, and its hypotenuse will be the diagonal of the square with a side length equal to x. So its diagonal is equal to x root two. Now let's show that these two right triangles are similar. All we need to do is show that one of the acute angles are equal to each other. So let's think about it. We have the square with a side length of five that's been shifted from the vertical by some angle. So this will be exactly the same angle that it's shifted from the horizontal. So if this angle is equal to A, this angle over here will also be equal to A. Now let's say this angle is equal to B. Notice that A plus B form the angle that's half of the square with a side length equal to X. So A plus B will be equal to 45 degrees. Let's say this angle is C. Notice that A plus C will form half of the square with a side length equal to five. So A plus C is equal to 45 degrees. This means that B is equal to C. So we know that these two angles are equal to each other. So the red triangle is similar to the yellow triangle. This means that X plus Y divided by five root two is equal to five divided by X root two. We can cancel out the root twos on both sides. We have x plus y divided by five is equal to five divided by x. We now just cross multiply and we get that x multiplied by x plus y is equal to 25. But x multiplied by x plus y is exactly what we wanted to solve for. So we know that the combined areas will be equal to 25 square centimeters, which is exactly the same area of the square with a side length equal to five. And that's the answer. Now, once again, you might be wondering if we can solve for the values of x and y. We cannot. The values depend on each other. If we vary the parameter y and we see what happens as y approaches zero, we get that x approaches five. So the squares will be coincident and we can see that the combined areas will be equal to five squared, which is 25 square centimeters. But this is true for all values of y, so all of these values of y will still lead to a combined area of 25 square centimeters. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.